Hey everyone, Tim with Collect Jurassic. Mattel just sent over this massive, huge box. It's so big, it barely even fits on my review table, hence the weird perspective here. Ha had to fit it in frame, so huge thank you to Mattel. I cannot wait to see what's inside. Of course, I'm sure it's filled with all sorts of awesome Jurassic World Dominion toys by the looks of the branding on the box, but take this thing in. I mean, it is seriously ginormous. We have this awesome Dominion logo right on the front. I love the foggy treescape. Looks so cool, so ominous. We also have that, of course, that Dominion logo on front and some renders of Rexy, Pyroraptor, Velociraptor Blue, and Velociraptor Beta. Then on the sides here, let's see if I can get those in camera. We have a render of Dilophosaurus here on one side. I think on the other side, it's Therizinosaurus. So again, this is like, this box is huge. So bear with me. There's Therizinosaurus, sorry about the glare. And then on the course, on the very back, we have something really cool that I don't think I've seen before. Um, it's a very cool view of the Rex from Dominion. I mean, look at that thing. Man, that T-Rex looks just like classic Rexy from Jurassic Park. So uh, obviously, um, you know, this box is just got so much cool artwork on it. Almost don't want to open it. It's almost too beautiful to open, but of course we're going to have to open it to see what's inside. As I'm sure a lot of you out there are just dying to know what's in here, just like me. So cool. When you open it up, it's got this cool die line uh, cut of the Amber logo. I love that. And then inside it looks like it says, uh, warning, Tyrannosaurus Rex spotted in the area. I love this motif they're doing with Dominion with this sort of dinosaurs in the real world kind of thing. So brought that in here with the box with the caution stripes. Really cool visual. We also have this little card in here with the Dominion logo. It says uh, dinosaurs are in our world. Um, looks like a bunch of explainers about what toys are in the box, but I don't want to give it away. So let's go ahead and dive right in um, and not spoil it for ourselves. All this black grass here. I'm feeling I'm going to make a huge mess um, getting these toys out, right? Um, but we're going to do our best. We're going to do our best to, to you know, make everything clear and maybe not make uh, a massive mess. But um, we're just going to go ahead and get started and start digging out uh, what's in here. This is just like uh, Alan Grant would do, right? He would uh, he'd just be digging in here trying to find stuff. So um, I do see some toys. What do we got out here first? Let's go ahead and pull it out. It's roaring, whatever it is. Will it come out? Looks like the new sound slashing Therizinosaurus. Um, I'll go ahead and get uh, another shot of all these toys outside the box. I don't really have room to even open these up, even if I wanted to, but th sound, sound Slash and Therizinosaurus is definitely one of the cooler Mattel Jurassic figures to come out. I've already reviewed it on the channel, so definitely be sure to check it out if you uh, haven't already. It's a great toy, some great action features. And of course, it's got those massive claws that make it such a cool, unique toy. Um, look at that, it's just buried in this black stuff. I love it. Um, Sound Slash and Therizinosaurus, one of the big baddies from the new movie. Uh, really cool toy. Um, and uh, that's the first one I pulled out. So let's go ahead and see what else is in here. Looks like we got another one down here. Uh, another awesome set. We have Owen and Velociraptor Beta. And of course, not, nope, gotta get that grass out. Don't forget about the little fox here as well. I love Beta, looks so cool, so cute. I mean, this is such a fun little figure. Another one I've done a review for, so if you're interested in seeing a complete in-depth look at this one, definitely check out my other videos. But um, you got the fox too, which is an added bonus. And you also have that utility tool. I love that they call the knife a utility tool. So Owen of Velociraptor Beta, one of the human packs. And I think in here I saw, yep, another one. This is, of, of course, Claire and Dilophosaurus. This Dilophosaurus is epic. Let me tell you, it is just so cool. It has such awesome detail. The frill is like all, it, it, it's not like the other Mattel Dilophosaurus. It's a little bit bigger. They redid the frill. So there's a lot of cool stuff going on with this figure that, you know, doesn't, you know, isn't a, you're not obvious when you first look at it. You think, oh, that's just the attack pack version they've done before. But the frill is awesome because it's uh, got all this detail on it. And the figure itself is bigger. So it's a little bit more complicated. 
comparatively size to Claire here. And the Claire figure is also excellent. Comes with a, a gun and a little like phone tracker thing. So um, gotta love human figures from Mattel. That's what we're here for. We've been getting dinosaurs, you know, since uh, the last movie. Not a lot of human figures, but now with the minion coming out, we're back with human figures with these awesome two packs. Um, and the first ones out the gate, of course, are Owen and Claire. But hopefully they do Alan Grant uh, and uh, Ellie and all those other characters we see in the trailer here pretty soon. Um, but let's keep digging, because there's more. That can't be everything. Um, oh, there's a big one back here, here. Ah, man, this is making such a huge mess. You should see the floor underneath the table. There's just a giant pile of black crinkle paper. Oh yeah, this is a big one. Let me see if I can make more room in the box. Oh yeah, that's a big one. Oh yeah, now we just made a huge mess. And who is it? None other than Transaurus Rex, and she's already eating, eating something. Black paper. This is the Thrash and Devour T-Rex, the newest Mattel Jurassic figure um, of the T-Rex, of the iconic species. Again, a figure I've checked out that was awesome, and I'm, and I'm stoked to see it again here in the packaging because it just looks so awesome in the box with that cool Dominion artwork. And the toy itself is a lot of fun. It's got, um, it's got that awesome biting feature. And also does a little bit of thrashing, all that good stuff. Um, so definitely a must have, um, in the collection. Even if you already have a bunch of other T-Rexes, you don't have one that literally swallows people whole and has this awesome paint coloration on it too. So, uh, I gotta recommend the Thrash and Devour T-Rex, of course. I hope I can get all these toys out and kind of get them all in one spot <laughs> when we're all done here. I'm gonna do my best. In fact, I should probably make room right now by putting T-Rex on the floor. What else do we got in here? Nothing in the back. I noticed there's like a little amber detail here on the back too. The whole box is sort of like cast in amber. Uh-oh. I don't know if you can see that back there. I, probably not without me digging out a bunch of grass anyway, which I will happily do to show everybody the inside. There's all these like cool swirls and stuff back there. What a mess. Um, but, oh, another toy in here. Speaking of amber, we have Hammond Collection. You can see him there inside his little amber cane we have the baryonyx uh awesome figure i love the hammond collection i literally can't get enough of them they're a little bit different than the figures i already took out there's a lot more articulation going on a lot more paint detail all that cool stuff um and they're a great price point too these ones are target exclusive in the u.s but you can get them online um i think they're 20 bucks which is just an amazing price considering how articulated the figure is and and uh kind of how premium it is i'm sure the other one yep of course the other one is in here as well which is parasaur Lophus. so you're gonna have lots of cool articulation on this one uh, just like the baryonyx the little mouth even opens up too so um both of these guys are excellent figures. Um, and again, 20 bucks each. You can hardly beat that um, for the uh, kind of premium uh, kind of format that they have. Just can't be beat. Again, these are at Target in the US, but you can get them online. Um, let me go ahead and put these guys aside as well and keep digging around in here. Is there anything else? Yes. Yes, there is. There's at least a couple more things. I think this is, yeah, this is the, the bottom of the box. We finally reached the bottom of this giant box. And it is more Hammond collection. We have uh, Ian Malcolm, as well as Velociraptor. Uh, this Velociraptor is definitely one of my favorite releases that's come out in the past couple weeks. I mean, this is like a dream toy for me, full of articulation and all that. Uh, the detail, all that good stuff is here. Of course, it's from Jurassic Park, um, the classic Raptor with all that articulation built in and scaling with all the other Mattel figures I already collect, which is a big deal to me. Um, as you know, Amber Collection was six inch, didn't quite scale with everything, but now uh, Hammond Collection is here to save the day. We also have uh, Dr. Ian Malcolm here. Um, this is cool because he comes with his jacket as well. Um, again, just like the Raptor and the other dinosaurs they looked at, lots of articulation with this one. Um, and he's a classic character. So looking forward to them doing Alan Grant and Ellie Sattler next. Um, but yeah, oh man, Hammond Collection is so cool. Definitely one of my favorite things to come out um, from Mattel for all these awesome Dominion toys. But let's go ahead and get everything back up here. Can I even shut this box with all the grass coming out of it. I mean, this thing is just, let me tell you, I have made quite a mess 
getting these toys out. But of course, we have the Amber or the Hammond Collection figures. Also have the bigger Hammond Collection figures. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to be able to fit all this stuff on the box, but we're going to do our, our darndest. We also have the T-Rex. Can she fit back there? We got the T-Rex. We got those guys. We have, where's Therizinosaurus at? We also have Therizinosaurus. I don't know. I don't think they're all going to fit. And we have the smaller uh, human collection. And then, of course, we have the human packs um, as well. So, I see, I can't even fit all this fit all this stuff uh, in frame, can I? Not even close. Look at all these awesome toys. And of course, they look even better outside the box. So let's go ahead, do uh, uh, just a quick look at these guys outside the box because that's really where it's at. So let's do that. And there they are, all outside the box. We have the Therizinosaurus, T-Rex, Parasaurolophus, Baryonyx, Velociraptor, uh, Velociraptor uh, Beta, and Dilophosaurus, whoo, as well as those human figures. So here they are. Again, huge thanks to Mattel for sending these. you got to check these toys out. They're so cool. Um, you know, we got the Therizinosaurus here. Huge figure. I mean, this thing is big. You can see how big it is next to Owen. It is just a massive figure, massive uh, baddie in the new movie Dominion, I'm sure, if it gets such a big toy. Um... But yeah, I mean, these toys are just incredible. I had definitely have to shout out that Dilophosaurus again. I mean, this thing is just so cool. Look at that. I mean, got to track this one down. You get the Claire figure and you get an excellent version of Dilophosaurus. And then don't miss uh, Hammond Collection either. So much articulation in these figures. This is the Baryonyx. It's got a full motion in the neck as well as the arms. It's got multiple joints in the legs. You can do all kinds of cool poses. Of course, you got to open that mouth as well. So, um, I mean, this is these Hammond Collection figures are definitely where it's at for adult collectors too. But, you know, this stuff is just great for all ages. Um, obviously, I'm an adult collecting this stuff, but I know it's super popular with kids too. And it's easy to see why because these toys are just so, so cool. And we're only a, we're less than a couple months away from Jurassic World Dominion. So we're, we're reaching fever pitch here in the Jurassic community for the excitement around the movie. And of course, these toys are doing wonders to kind of uh, bolster that excitement. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Um, again, I want to thank Mattel for sending this along. Such a cool uh, package to get, such an immense package to get. It's almost overwhelming, but um, huge thanks to them. Uh, again, I'm Tim with Click Jurassic. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.